It's closure that one family has been waiting for for years now. Katie Golden died back in 2017 after an overdose, and now her family hopes a major update in this case sends a strong message. ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell has the developments in court. Cliff and Dawn Golden will tell you their daughter Katie is missed every day. I don't want to be here right now. But this is a message we fought hard for. Katie was just 17 years old when she overdosed on heroin in April 2017. The Plant High School student was in her senior year and just weeks away from graduation. She was a really good person. She, she always made me, me a better person. Now, family and state prosecutors hope developments in the case send a clear message. Assistant State Attorney Scott Harmon said in the summer of 2018, their office took a hard look at this case. He explained they were able to mount a prosecution that included a defendant named Titan Goodson, who was Katie's boyfriend. Through that prosecution, we were able to obtain his testimony against this dealer, Garland Layton, who had sold heroin to these two teenage kids, causing her death. State prosecutors explained Garland Layton pled guilty last week to manslaughter in relation to Katie's case as a part of a plea agreement. Even if you're a dealer and you're selling to a low level, or and it's, I'm sorry, a supplier and you're selling to a low level dealer, all the way up the chain, you're going to be responsible and you're going to go to prison or jail. Harmon also pointed out the significance of this case. This was our first opioid prosecution in this jurisdiction in many, many years and the first to involve a teenager. This case really led to the evolution of the opioid task force that we now have with the Tampa Police Department and the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. Funniest girl I've ever met. She just would make you laugh all the time. Some closure years in the making with Golden's parents saying it is justice for Katie. Yes. In Tampa, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.